iPhone ProRes is a game changer in smartphone video and filmmaking, but those files are enormous. The good news is that you can easily compress them while maintaining their quality or convert them to a more compressed file format. It will make the files more efficient to store and easier to handle. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. So, if you have an iPhone 13 Pro or newer, I'm sure you know that you have the option to record videos in the more advanced QuickTime ProRes format. ProRes is a codec and it's used for professional purposes. It holds much more video data, so there is more room left for color grading than when working with the otherwise convenient H.264 files. But great quality comes with great file sizes. I mean, just switch to ProRes here on your phone and you'll see that for me, for example, it says that I can only record 4 minutes worth of footage in ProRes. And I have 80 gigabytes free on my phone, so you get the point. Now, if you had accidentally recorded something important in ProRes, so you don't want to delete it, but it's taking up way too much space or you want to the higher quality of ProRes but prefer a smaller file size, here's a step-by-step -step tutorial as to what to do. The very first thing is to get your ProRes video file on your computer. If you're a Mac, it's fairly simple, just airdrop it. It might take some time, but that's the easiest method, I think. If you have a Windows PC, well, I'd recommend that you use Google Drive or any other transfer sites. Next, download the Uniconverter from videoconverter.wondershare.com if you don't have it yet. And then from the home interface, click on the compressor tool. Next, import your ProRes file. Now, by moving this toggle here, you can select the compression ratio. By keeping it within the green area, you'll get the best result. You can immediately make it about half the size while keeping it in the same quality. Do note that the compressor uses the H.264 codec, so your file will not be ProRes anymore, but the quality will be still higher as if you had originally recorded your footage in H.264. And if you don't believe me, see what happens if you try to convert a ProRes file into, for example, MP4 H.264, the file size will drop pretty much to 5% of the original one, which means it will be much more compressed than when we compress it. Obviously, you'll lose some quality, but I mean, it's still really good unless you want to do some next level color grading to this footage, because otherwise this is a perfect fix in case you record it in ProRes by mistake. So long story short, if you compress a ProRes file instead of converting it, the quality will stay higher. So after choosing an output folder and an output format, click on compress or start all. That's it. With the compressor tool, you can compress any files to a smaller file size while maintaining a much higher quality than as if you converted it into a lower quality format. So if for nothing else, for this, keep the Uniconverter on your desktop at all times so you could always convert and compress when you need to. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'm going to catch you in the next video.